releasing problems. This is a guided meditation for you to take one of your issues you have in life that you'd like to dissolve and by the end of the meditation it should feel much lighter already, okay? But before we start, I'd like you to come to rest. Take a deep breath in. And on the out breath, let go of muscle tension, body tension. And you do that for about three times. So you take a deep breath in. And just relax and let go on the out breath. You can keep your eyes open or you can close them, listening to my voice and the waves. Before we start, I'd like you to become present, meaning you're already whole and complete right now, before anything is solved, before any goal is reached, before you've had your coffee, before the weekend comes. Just being whole and complete, you and what you're sitting on and your surroundings. And then I'd like to bring up your issue, bring up something that is bothering you in the last days or weeks. It could be a big thing or a small thing. What is one item that's been bothering you? And when I say bring it up, I mean think of it, simple as that. Just put your attention there, whether it exists as a memory or as a thought or as an emotion in your chest or stomach or forehead. I just without too much effort, stay with it. Now the first, there's two steps to dissolving a problem, the first step is to release your resistance. And that means to just, as best you can right now, relax with it. Stop trying to get rid of it. Stop trying to solve it. Stop trying to change it just, just for now. Sit with it as if it belongs and it's okay that it's there. You see, one part of problems persisting is that you keep fighting those problems. And as you keep fighting them, you give them undue attention undo energy. And once you stop fighting and just give up, drop, relax, you release much of the pressure a problem consists of. Every problem you have exists as some kind of thought or emotion that you're struggling against, fighting against, trying to solve, trying to heal, trying to get rid of and so forth. And right now, I'd just like you to sit with it. You see that every problem emotion is connected to problem thoughts. So anytime you feel a heavy emotion, you might ask a very basic question, which is what belief or thought 
must I be having consciously or subconsciously in order to feel this way? So let's say you have a heavy feeling in your chest or an emptiness in your chest and you ask yourself what kind of focusing what kind of thinking must I be having in order to feel this way? And with that basic question, and that question is all you really need when dissolving problems, you instantly see the obvious. You see what thoughts create that heavy emotion. Because you're supposed to have a heavy emotion when you're thinking or doing the wrong thing. Things that are not aligned with your soul. What the bad feeling is telling you is that the things you are intending, planning or doing are not what is right for you, right for your soul, and that's why you feel bad. And in this sense, so-called negative emotions such as fear and anger are good. They're signals that you're on the wrong path. So, we've focused on the problem side for a while. That's releasing resistance to the problem. The other 50% of solving or dissolving an issue is to focus on what you want instead. So I'm going to ask you, what do you want instead? What is the opposite of this issue? What is the opposite? What do you want instead of this? When this issue is solved, how are things going to be? And I'd like you to invest some attention into that now. You know, if you've been investing attention into the problem for days, weeks, maybe even months, years or decades, it's time to shift and focus on what you want instead. What is it you want from this issue? You stop banging on what you don't want and shift to what you want. And to get into that even more deeply, can you imagine already having that? Can you step into that movie and feel as if that's already true or on its best way to coming true? on its way to fulfillment. What would it feel like if the solution were already there? And I guarantee you that if you can stay focused in this way, not only do you start feeling better and stronger and more healthy, not only do you start to recover, but the problem gradually and slowly will start to recede from your life, go into the background. The longer you stay focused on the new. So if you've been investing many years into the problem, it's time to start investing into the solution and become active in that direction. Now, just for good measure, 
Let's put our attention back to the problem and see what it feels like now. And depending on how big it is, there might still be some charge on it. If it was a big and traumatic thing, there will still be some left and that's okay. Just got to sit with it and relax with it. Allow it to be there. And then shift back to what you want instead. Training your being now to be able to shift back and forth so that the problem is no longer a fixation frozen in time but you can kind of shift. So now you're back to what you want instead and you go into that. Can you imagine that's already true? Can you bring that closer to your heart, closer to your chest? Now, if the problem feels bigger than what you want instead, it's because you haven't invested enough attention into it, okay? The problem has more spin, so to speak, through your resistance and words and actions than the solution. So you want to create more spin toward the opposite, toward the solution. And that usually doesn't work purely through positive thinking. So positive thinking is ignoring the problem and just trying to step over to the positive, suppressing the problem. But if you don't acknowledge and embrace the problem and let it become smaller and smaller, then the positive thought is only going to be temporary, especially with big problems. So you see that positive thinking does work with small issues. You can instantly blow up a problem through a positive thought, but they don't work with charged issues. So it's a matter of releasing the charge from the problem, going back to the solution, and giving the solution more time, more focus than the problem. So if we just focused on the problem, <coughs> so if we just focused on the problem for five minutes, we want 15 minutes for the solution. So stay with the solution, stay with what you want instead, going into it more deeply. And since that is already true, you can let go of focusing for now. It's true in consciousness and therefore only a matter of time until it becomes true in real life. So you simply repeat this process with the same problem or another problem several times until you feel much stronger and begin attracting better things into your daily life. My name is Fred Dotson. Thank you very much.